，你是否面对以下的困扰呢？经常觉得胸痛、呼吸困难、出汗，那你很有可能就是患上了风湿性心脏疾病。到底什么是风湿性心脏疾病呢？那就让我们一起去请教医生吧。Rheumatic heart disease is the most common valve disease in adults and children. It is acquired, meaning that it is not from birth. And it is a lifelong disease. So rheumatic heart disease actually is caused by acute rheumatic fever. It's an interesting disease because it is actually caused by a bacteria called Streptococcus A. It's a beta hemolytic strep. It causes very bad sore throat. So in a normal person, when you get sore throat, the body creates antibodies, right? And these antibodies are Aim at killing off the bacteria, but in this group of patients, in、uh, some of these patients who are predisposed, these antibodies cannot differentiate the bacteria and the body, so it also attacks the own body. So it's like an autoimmune disease. So it is not a disease that is transmitted, but they suspect why is it that two people get the same bacteria, and why is it that. This particular person develops rheumatic heart disease, but the other person doesn't, because both also got the same bacteria. So they suspect there must be some factor in the predisposed person that makes their body develop this autoimmune. So、uh, you start with the acute rheumatic fever.、Uh, so this is acute rheumatic fever. It's not rheumatic heart disease yet. So these patients they present with very bad sore throat, high spiking fever. You know when you say got tonsillitis and then very painful. Takes a few days to get better. So、uh, and then after that, they most people recover. But in these patients, they may have joint pains and then they may have、um, sometimes、uh, difficulty in breathing. They start to show signs of heart involvement. So they have. Uh, very tired. They have difficulty in breathing, and then they find that they cannot do the normal activity. So parents say the child become very tired all the time, lying down, sleeping. Sometimes they complain palpitation, and then if they really develop heart failure symptoms, then you start to see leg swelling. Patient has like ascites, you know, the abdomen also gets swollen, and then they be very breathless. They sometimes become off color because not enough oxygen when they become very sick. So、uh, when you talk about、uh, the acute rheumatic fever, they have all these joint pains. I say sometimes brain involvement, so they have this abnormal movement. All that disappears. It's transient, but the effect on the heart is long term. So、uh, if you have a mild heart disease,、uh, you may actually carry on with just the mild disease. But for many who have any moderate to severe valve involvement, the long-term effect is progression of the disease. We have the facilities to diagnose the disease. So to diagnose、uh, rheumatic heart disease, you first, like I say, you need to have good imaging. That means your ultrasound, your echocardiogram, and then you must have people who have the expertise to do and to diagnose and to know the severity. So diagnosing. The expertise to do the echocardiogram, to look at all the the findings, to do more advanced imaging, we have the resource and the expertise. We also have the experience and the expertise to manage acute rheumatic fever and treat it well, so that the 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 patient doesn't、uh, have any long term complication. And also,、um, if the patient needs to go for urgent surgery, these are very high risk patients. We have the ICU team and the surgeon that can help. The IGN has a valve expertise team, so these surgeons are good in repairing valve. Replace, most cardiac surgeons can do, but repair is a skill. And then rheumatic valve is different. You have all kinds of different pathology, so you have to develop. Your skill to repair the valve, and we are lucky that we have good surgeons who can repair valves here. And even now, I'm talking about this new procedure, that、like、is Osaki procedure for the aortic valve. We also have the skill. We have got both surgeons for both pediatric and adult. We have the 
electrophysiology team, which is the EP team, the experts to manage complex rhythms. So they can help us support that. Infective endocarditis team, from the people who diagnose, from the we collaborate with HKL and uh, Sungai Bulo to manage the infection disease. And then we have a cardio obstetric team. So this are an expert team that looks after pregnant women with heart disease and since the rheumatic valve is the most common valve disease that you see in pregnancy so we have this expert team that can take the mother through this high-risk pregnancy even if the mother needs to go for intervention during the pregnancy we can also support 记得关注, 东方日报, 并按赞, 留言, 以及分享这些影片, 我们下期的节目将会以直播的方式进行。如果你有什么问题的话，都能直接在直播上询问医生。我们这期的节目就到这里啦，我们直播见。